So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video I'm going to give you a very quick and easy guide on how you can get a fifth perk on Voyage of Despair, and it literally will only take you a few minutes to achieve in your game. Very, very cool, and rewards you with the free perk, just like it does for the nine Viking Easter egg. And just before we jump into the tutorial, it would not be possible for me to be bringing you this without the collaborative efforts of Dame and that game, and his team. Team, Potsy Gaming, Mad Cow Moo, Brown Eyed Girl, Aido, Tom Bomb Baby, and Axel Cage. And so without those, I doubt this Easter egg would have been completed as this involves some very, very tricky spawns for some items we're going to be looking for in this guide. So check out Dame's channel down below and I'll also link everyone else down there too if they've spent countless hours in theater mode trying to find all of these locations. So take a second out of your day to just say thanks to those guys. But jumping in with the tutorial, in order to get this, I'm pretty sure you're going to need a sniper rifle for one because these are very hard to see with normal guns anyway and this is confirmed to not work with specific weapon types so I'd make sure they have a sniper rifle like the Koshka or the Outlaw and you can get the Koshka from the wall inside of the engine room if you can't get a sniper out of the box. But to explain this easter egg simply we are going to be finding six fish which we are going to be shooting one at a time and picking up. There can only be one fish that spawns in the map at a time and once you've shot one and picked it up another fish will spawn somewhere else and throughout this game we're going to be covering all of the locations in which these fish can spawn and in my game the first location which I found a fish on was on the poop deck so what I did is looking from where you see the pack-a-punch pedestal there is a rope that leads from above that all the way up in the sky and if you follow with your sniper looking up the rope eventually near the top you are going to notice a little to object poking out and that is the fish that we need to shoot. Now in your game this might not be the first place you'll find the fish so if so don't worry just keep watching through the video as we show you all the locations but this is where we found our first one. Now I definitely recommend looking up at the rope when you are near the shield buildable bench because that's the best angle you can see it. Some angles if you're looking at this rope you simply just won't see the fish appear. As you can see I had a really really nice angle on it from this end of the poop deck so I just lined up my sights I shot the fish I got a hit marker and you see the fish physically fall to the ground and you'll hear a little plop sound effect as you would probably expect of a fish falling and when you pick it up you hear a bit of a squelching noise and that's when you know you've picked it up and we can move on to looking for our second fish and in this game that fish was in the forecastle. So running to this tower at spawn if you look just underneath this little balcony you will notice the fish there if it is there and if it is just simply shoot it and as you see it falls to the ground it's pretty simple to see it's on that little gray panel there just pick it up and we can move on to finding your third fish now for us this was on the mid deck and it's on this smoking tower which is right next to the fast travel you simply want to look up just when you see the two colors of the tower merge together you should notice that fish there if it isn't don't worry but for us it was there in our game so we shot it it fell down and we could pick it up the next location can be in the boiler room and this is on top of a blue Blue pipe and this is definitely the hardest one to see because it's just so dark within this room but if you look up onto this pipe you should notice a little texture where you might see the shape of a fish it is visible but you might need to turn your brightness up in your game and that's why I've heavily brightened up the gameplay so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Obviously as you can tell in the gameplay the water's been drained in this section and that's an absolute must. You won't be able to get this done really without the water being drained and if you're shooting this pipe and you're not seeing a hit marker in the exact area I'm shooting obviously that means the fish is not there and your eyesight isn't that bad but if you do see it there shoot it down and you'll notice that it will hit the floor and you want to watch where this goes as it can be hard to see it in the water but because I brighten up the footage I could actually see this thing lying on the ground in that really shallow water so I picked it up and you can hear that squelching noise which means we picked it up. The next one is going to be the aft decks and on this section here if you back yourself up and look at this rope which looks very much like a ladder made of rope as opposed to just a singular thread of rope you'll notice towards the top on like the second to last sort of circular screw shape on the side you'll notice that fish hanging off there you just want to shoot it down and it's going to fall in front of the mystery box location here on the aft decks you want to pick that up and we can move on to the last and final one which is the most tricky spot in the world but I've made this 
this a million times easier for you to see so you can guarantee yourself to get this every single time. And if it's not in any of the spawns I've mentioned, it's going to be in the galley. So what you want to do is open up to the galley from the dining hall and you want to open the doors which will lead you through a staircase up towards the top of the deck. And if you enter the galley from the right door, so the door on the right hand side, you instantly look down below at your feet, you'll notice in the grates below there will be a hanging fish. Now there is another angle to see this where you have to look up from the Zeus perk down in the engine room, but it is absolutely impossible to see with your own eyes. It's I've seen other people shoot it from there and trust me, I've tried a hundred times and I cannot see it. But from here in the galley, this makes picking up this fish incredibly easy because you simply shoot it, it's going to fall down and you're going to have to run down into the engine room and in front of the Zeus perk will be the fish lying there for you to pick it up. So now you've got all of the fish, you simply want to run onto the sun deck and take a right and there's going to be this crate here with two fishes on it. You simply want to hold your interaction button where it will place all the fishes down. Then you'll notice a huge tentacle will spawn. It will have launched the perk drop in the air, which will be floating above the box, which you can pick up and you'll have yourself a fifth perk on Voyage of Despair. Something which could literally take you a few minutes in game to do and an easy way to get a random perk. Now, just like in nine, if you go down, you will lose this perk. It's not permanent by any means, but having a fifth perk on this map is invaluable because it's so much more difficult than the other maps and it's just a fun little thing to do so let me know if you guys found this useful if you did a like rating would be very much appreciated let me know your thoughts on this easter egg down below in the comment section and feel free to subscribe for more easy to understand guides like this one but thank you for watching i'll see you next time